Hello and welcome back to another FC24 player review. Today's player review is for the Spring Update Promotion Moments player, Anel Ahmed Hozic. I do apologise if I've butchered his name. It's incredibly hard to pronounce. But with that being said, let's get into it. As always, I start off with the team that I used for this review. And as you can see, it is a 4-3-3 fourth variation, basically just a full special prem team. But it does have ultimate birthday icon Dennis Burkamp in at cam. And then in my defense, I have Chilwell and James as my fullbacks, Kera and Ahmed Hozic as my centre backs. So let's look at my stats after my three rivals games. Now on the screen you can see that I played three games in rivals, scored zero goals, got one assist and one yellow card. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, on to the gameplay for Ahmed Hozic. Now obviously when it comes to defenders it's quite hard to actually record gameplay, especially if they don't score or assist. But you can see a couple of the challenges here. Absolutely fantastic. Is it the card or is it the timing of myself? But this is the final clip of the gameplay, so I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. Now that you've seen the gameplay for Ahmed Hozic, moving on to the pros. First of all is his 95 pace with a shadow. Because a shadow keeps him control lengthy is what I would recommend over an anchor. Then his 84 short passing was very very good. 88 reactions and 90 composure. Fantastic for a centre back. His defending was outstanding. 95 jumping and 90 strength meant he was a monster in the air. Now looking at playstyles, he literally has every defensive playstyle possible. And then finally, his medium high work rates meant he was always in the right position at the right time. On to the cons for Ahmed Hozic. First of all, I would have to say his 82 agility and 64 balance. Unfortunately, he does turn like an absolute truck. And I'm not really surprised. He's six foot five, has low balance. His agility is like medium for a centre back, but the balance just kills him. And then his second con is his three star weak foot. At this stage of the game, realistically, I think most players should have minimum four star weak foot, and on centre backs, probably five star. So, would I recommend completing moments Ahmed Hozic? And in my opinion, I would say no. Now, I said yes to Benson and Morris. Obviously, he's going to be the same price. He's around 30,000 to 35,000 coins. But for me, even though he does have great pace, great defending, great physicals, he's got high reactions, high composure. He lacks in weak foot. He lacks in agility and balance. And for the same price, you can just go out and buy base Van Dyke, and he will just outperform him because EA have this thing for Van Dyke that I don't understand why. Unfortunately, he is a good card, but for me, he's more likely to be fodder than anything else. I don't think he's going to actually fit into anyone's team unless you're a Sheffield United fan. I'd like to thank you for watching this player review. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.